Hey, it's uh, John David Wesley, a.k.a. J.D. Wesley, and I'm here with the great Tyrone Corbett. John Amazing. David Wesley. Hey, man, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. It's good to have you in the studio again, man. It's so great to be working with you. What's been new? What's been going on since the last time we got together? Oh, man, so many uh, wonderful uh, projects. Um, you've got uh, with Hassan. Uh, we've got a new little kind of like a one man show thing coming out. We did some uh, amazing songs with it. And hopefully if it goes well, you may see me on one of those little apps. <laughs> oh, man, that's very, very cool. So let's see. Let's go with Hassan. I originally met you with Hassan exactly, when you guys yes. were recording Favorite. Yes. Can you tell me a little yes. bit about Favorite? Favorite is a song that, although it was not written specifically for me, it tailored. It's, it's almost like it was tailored for my life. Um, singing the song, I had kind of an emotional disconnect and then reconnect because the, the words were too close to life. Wow. And I think that's what's going on right now as the song is being promoted. Most people are connecting with the lyrics, with the song itself, and they're understanding that you are favored. You're still here. You're still breathing. Your favorite. Hey, man. Well, it's certainly a great message. It's an incredible song. And I was privileged to be introduced to you and work yes. with you on that single, man. Yes, so yes, yes. that's really cool. So other than music, what else is going on, man? Tell me something good. <sighs> life. <laughs> life. Yeah, I'll take life. life, life. Okay. Uh, well, I will say this, though. I, I have found a way to... to successfully mesh music and acting together. Uh -huh. So it seems like they're both walking the journey at the same time. I don't know which one is going to pop the fastest, but I thank God that I'm able to do both of the two things I love at the same time. Well, I think that's great because music and video and stuff, it's all intertwined yes. in there. So the whole acting thing is just great. So let me ask you this question. Now that we're coming out of the pandemic, mm -hmm. I mean, it's been a crazy year and a half. Yes. Hopefully you haven't lost anyone. Yeah. I have, oh, but, man. you know, Sorry to hear that. life is life. Yeah, yeah. And a few people I've talked to have. How do you feel the way we're moving now, that they're removing masks and all of that stuff? How do you feel about um, where we are? Although we'll never be what we were, Yeah. we have to find our new norm and move on with that. And, and for all of us, I think it's made me a little nervous. All Everybody, you mm -hmm. know, when you go through a year and a half of almost wearing a mask, now you're going to take it off. Exactly. Plus, so many people aren't doing the right thing that Speak on it. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little cautious <laughs> with that. But so other than music and acting, tell me something that people don't know about J.D. Wesley, but might be surprised to find out. Any hobbies or? Uh, the biggest hobby I have is people watching. Oh, That's okay. the one thing I love to do. And my dad, he always cracks up when I talk about this. But I like to just stand on the balcony or go to the park or just sit on a bench and just watch the people live. Wow. And my younger sister says, but you're not living. I'm like, yes, I am. I'm, ex I'm living and existing at the same time while you are in the same moment in time. I love it. <laughs> so if you're living that way, are you a troll on Facebook or all those other things? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just curious. No, no. When it comes out to social media, I try to let that go. But I just I enjoy watching people live. There are yeah. moments that if I had my camera with me, because I kind of do the photography thing, I think I could capture some real moments without anybody knowing no, absolutely. that I'm capturing it. I think those are the best moments. I always tell my wife, even when we're going down the street, if I see a child and their parent mm -hmm. walking ahead a little bit, but just get Getting what neither one of them know what's going on. You can get the most beautiful pictures. Yes, you can. However, people would be looking at me strangely if I'm taking pictures exactly. at people I don't know. Stalker. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's talk today a little bit about the Bell Tolls for You, which is our song together, man. W w tell me a little bit about you know the song. The song is a huge song. Um, it speaks to exactly what's going on in this country right now as far as race relations. Um, there's so many knowns, there's so many unknowns, and that song really encompasses it, it all. The bell tolls for you. I like certain parts where it's talking about the sound, that you may not hear it, but yet still, it's coming. It's coming. And, to and, and, and again, th those are the things. We didn't know the things were going to happen with, uh, uh, with his name, George, George Floyd, Floyd. And, 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 and the other one, Breonna Taylor. We didn't know these things were going to happen, but the signs were there. They've been there. Yeah. Yeah. And there were many before them. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I, I think it's a great song and, and I love having you at the helm of it yes. because you deliver it beautifully. So I'm excited to move forward. Oh, okay. Where can people find J.D. Wesley? You can find J.D. Wesley on across all my social media. It's J.D. Wesley Music or just J.D. Wesley. And that's on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or even Clubhouse now. That's the new thing they got going now. That's right. That's right. Have a good conversation at Clubhouse. Exactly. Exactly. 
Well, J.D., it was great speaking with you, man, and look forward to doing it soon. Always a pleasure, and thank you for having me. My pleasure, man. God bless you. Peace.